This video is sponsored by the Complete Waifu Handbook Kickstarter. You know this idea was level 69 triple S rank level genius because they were completely funded in 33 minutes and are now on their stretch goals arc. These guys are releasing an entire handbook about waifus that have waifu races, classes, subclasses, marriage backgrounds, cooking feet, recipes, camping rules with activities, and so much more. The cooking stuff is especially neat. I actually plan to use some in my own campaign. Not to mention that this book works for both D&D 5e and Pathfinder 2e. They also have a Dakimaka reward for those who want the I fucked a werewolf waifu and all I got was this body pillow experience. Click the link down below or in the pinned comment and leave a comment of what kind of waifu you want to be. Thank you so much for Loading Crew Crafts and the Complete Waifu Handbook Kickstarter for sponsoring this episode. Congratulate everyone on establishing a known place for our fearsome familia. Because of you all, we are not to be trifled with any longer and can sit upon a throne of our own. This one is for all of you guys. Now let's raise our glass. Yeah! To massive dead! Huh? Wait, what? We sort of forgot about... Well, I guess I kind of forgot about this... thing. Forgot a thing? Yeah. But Hephaestus didn't. Hey, Pam. <laughs> and unfortunately, even the lean on this house would only make a dent the size of the dimple on my ass. You don't have dimples on your ass. Yep. God damn it! Fuck it all! How do we possibly get out of this? The blue collar way, of course. We continue to chip away at the debt and enjoy our favorite amenities. It may not wash away our uncouth amount of debt, but it can wash away the thought of it. Oh, yeah! Somebody better call the chief, cause this is it. And a well-stocked wine cellar for Lily to drink away the pain, and a supporter's first chemistry set! I'll make sure to be responsibly drunk. Can't promise the same with my creations, though. Honestly, this is severely underwhelming considering that we usurped this from a god that overcompensated and somehow undercompensated at the exact same time. Come on, I wouldn't leave you out. You get the privacy of your own room. Oh, thank heaven. With me. Why must you ruin everything you touch? What exactly were you expecting from winning this? Anything but this. You two go on ahead. I think I found something that needs my attention. Uh, <laughs> hey, I guess. I killed your leader. Yeah, yeah, you, uh, you might have done that. Then why would you raise a tone with me? Not smart. He has a point. That he do. If you must know, we were hoping to break in and steal her body pillow back. You, you kind of kicked us out faster than we could pack. I miss my squishy. Oh no, go ahead. The only thing stopping you are the consequences for assaulting my house a second time. <laughs> or you could just ask and give me a chance to be nice to you. But that defeats the purpose of breaking in. Well, I guess that would also defeat the point of you getting that pillow back. Damn shame. Yeah, okay, okay, fuck, fine, I'll ask. I'll even do it nicely. I don't care. Just get the Apollo Day pillow. That really doesn't sound like being nice. Your friend is starting to sound hungry. Is that normal? Please, please, please. There you go. You make it look so easy. Oh, Beelzebub, I thought I lost you. Take me to the Shadow Realm, Hugh! Is there something in there? Kind of felt like there was, but I was too scared to take off the pillowcase. Nothing but this voice box. Looks like you're going to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. Out of all the fucked up things I've seen in this mansion, this tops the list. It even tops the big one. The big one? What big one? Lady, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my property. I don't think that's supposed to go there, Jimbo. Not even a little. Who even 
that Hestia's is not gonna like this delay. Hestia, I need to know if I'm reading this right, but does this say 50,000 valas for, and I quote, a comically large spoon? Mia, you bastard! I thought that spoon was a favor! Why is it in the books? I also just came across something marked only as business receipt for one five-gallon barrel of self-lubricant. Oh, no, that's a me thing. Sorry. All right, you guys need to stop eating out. The tab you guys racked up at the Hostess of Fertility is going to bring us straight into debt collection. What kind of degenerate gets takeout at a sit-down restaurant anyway? I still want to know what the fuck this spoon is about. I do not see the benefits of the spoon that comically big. I've never even seen the spoon. It was hidden in the church, dude. The church is gone. Yeah, so is the spoon. I'm sure that could have been claimable by insurance. We were squatters. Nothing was insured. Uh... Listen, I know it's important to balance the budget. Really? You don't say. But we may have another more urgent issue. Oh, good. Something else to add to the bills. Not exactly. See, in the hopes that we could find a means of income, I put an ad out that Fel was looking for a suitor. You did what? And I kind of forgot about something I put in that I should have taken out. Really? What the fuck did you put in that ad? I said you have an 18-inch dick. No! 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 No goddess damn way! No! We're going to be talking about this later, line! So... You think they're going to be mad when they find out I had to spend a thousand to print the ad? Yeah, I'll just write that at the bottom of the book. All right, everyone. Sorry for the inconvenience, but I need you all to get the hell out of here. I can't tell if that's going to bite us later or not. Oh, well, I'll take the dubs now. Lily, the term screwing the pooch is nothing compared to how badly you could have fucked the dog on this one. Our debt is too big. The water will no longer distract me from our taxes. It only fuels my paranoia. Come on, you tiny Olympic bitch. I know you're hiding something. Oh, this edge is well. Hmm. A hundred million ballast? A hundred million on a magical stone-cut shape-gifting vibrator! Now listen, before everyone starts getting all judgy. That says so much about Belle just by how much it says about you. Return it. Lily, you can't return a used sex toy, especially one handcrafted by Freya. Hmm, I think the day might have come. And so did Hestia. Madam, there is an issue that has recently been made aware of. I was having a moment. What could possibly be so important? We're being audited. Well, Ward is a star, bitch. You realize that Belle has legitimately passed out due to the shock, right? I'm working on how to handle that. <laughs> At this point, our only option of recovery is to destroy the IRS. Ooh, I like that plan. We'll go with that. Let's take down the tax system! <laughs> I was kidding? I was very much kidding. Do you even have the slightest idea who runs that show? Uh, they better be afraid of a woman looking to take down taxes themselves! Good luck taking down the whole ass red light district just to escape by taxes. The fucking what? Hermes, my dear, you're always such a songbird, but lately, you haven't sung me any new tunes. Oh well, I don't need much of you anymore. See, Hermes, if there are two immutable facts that make money and power best, it's sex and the tax system. And I just so happen to own both. Oh, life is so good down here. I'm going on a trip to the patent office on our tax forms. What? Why? Because we just invented a whole new kind of fuck! You, uh, you feeling a bit better there after your nap, sweet prince? Well, you just told me our accumulative debt is so large that our only option is to revolt against the IRS itself, which also happens to be the red light district. When you say it like that, I can almost taste the irony. No, uh, Ralph, that's iron. It's your body's natural response for what I'm going to do to you all. Hey, to be fair, it wasn't my I- 
Okay, actually, it was my idea, but it wasn't my intention. And now you have locked Hestia into wanting to rewrite the Aurarian economic system by infiltrating the land of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Well... You're forgetting that there is no functional way to do any of this. There is no plan. There is no idea. It sounds like a drunken idea, actually. Someone is sure talking a lot of shit for not having any better ideas. I don't need better ideas. This is way above my pay grade. Which there will not be any more of if we stop now when there could be. Listen, dude, it's not that I don't care. I love everyone here, and I want to provide all I can for them. My issue is, is that this is not only right after a big victory for us, but it also happens to be some unreal levels of financial turmoil out of the blue and at one of our most vulnerable times. We are a team of a samurai ninja, a tiny chemist, a gay blacksmith, and a useless goddess. And what am I in all this? DPS or something? I don't know. Point is, that's all we have. Without a way to expand our current team, it doesn't leave us many options or any help. Barely put. I mean, we may have options. I just need to think. I'm probably the only person rooting for your team outside of your team. Oh. What? Do you have an idea? <sighs> I think I'm about to get into bed with someone that could potentially fix all our problems, but could also make them worse. Everything! Hello? Are you really sure this is a good idea? No, don't! What better idea is there in the world than trusting a friend that always has your back? Don't say friend ever. That word is way too strong for you. Ah, uh, yes. My mistake. Let me say it more accurately. The most important being currently in your life. How may I be of assistance? You goddamn son Bell, of a- mm. focus. Fine, fine. Personally, I don't want your slimy money. <sighs> All right, well, what is it you want then, Bell? What I need is to destroy the entire inner workings of the economic system of Orario, but without entirely collapsing it in one fell swoop. I know it sounds a little much, but- uh, Dude, that's a felony. Is that all you have to say? It's a rad felony I'm in! That's all it took? Don't you have a close connection to Ishtar? If you think for a second I wouldn't go against Ishtar in a heartbeat, <laughs> you're mistaken. What could she have possibly done to you? Aren't you basically untouchable? Uh... <laughs> Do you really want to know? Actually, no, I'm sorry I asked. Huh, Bill? Thanks, man. Uh, uh, not for you, fully for myself, because now I have to imagine it. Okay, so we're actually doing this? Makoto, I don't know if it's your stealth skills, Hermes information skills, or my delirium, but this plan might work. No pressure, of course. Just our entire livelihood over a fucking dildo. Here's the problem. You're a 14-year-old boy, so you'll have to worm your way into the center of the red light district if you want in. Makoto will also have to do this, but I don't think the Amazons will take as kindly to her. Which ultimately means... Belle, you're... You're gonna... Oh, f First and foremost, we're gonna need someone who is a lot more familiar with the red light district than me. So I'm gonna bring Chigusa in on this, given her tendency to find new ways to spice things up with Oka. My job will be to stick by close while the rest of the team and I wait for Hermes. He can, I don't know, look like he's doing some delivery boy shit. We'll be on the sidelines helping keep Belle out of trouble. That is unless something comes to foil our well thought out schemes. Hey honey, are you looking for a good time? You are the seventh person that has asked that. Can you please fuck off? This is why you always need a gay friend in the room. Oh, shit. How is plan A already falling apart? Wait, you're not gonna leave me here, right? Guys! Alrighty, everyone. The local orgy house is ready to open. No! Let me go! This is a mistake. This is a terrible mistake! Where the hell is Hermes? Okay. She's giving me a type of vibe. Why is she giving me a vibe? Oh, Belle, I seemingly have found you in the red light district. What is a man of my cut of cloth to do? The bad acting ain't fooling anyone. Also, you late, bitch! My good friend, Belle Cranel. I am here to deliver a package for a meeting. 
I also have something to deliver to you. There is no need for this. Also, what could you possibly have to benefit me right now? Drugs, of course. You can't be fucking serious. It will help you along the way. If this turns sideways, I will snap you sideways. Four times. All right, all right, just take this. And if you run into a woman named Aisha, just tell her it's your birthday. Is that code for something? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Unless getting down in the dirty filth nasty is more your stuff. <laughs> you piece of shit masochist! The rest is up to you and your sweet ass, bye! Oh, daddy shit! Get over here, you son of a bitch! Oh, sorry, my apologies. Um, hey, you wouldn't happen to have seen a Ram Ranch cowboy walk by, would you? Well, well, well. Who'd guess that the infamous Fire Rabbit would grace the red light district with his unyielding mass and appetite? Well, I guess when you kill a man in broad daylight, it's bound to be like that. And you are? Aisha, courtesan of conquerors, wench of the wealthy, entrepreneur of sucker, and the baddest bitch you will meet. How convenient. I was told to ask you something, and though I'm very afraid to do so, what happens if I tell you it's my birthday? Oh, so friends in very high places. Fucking her! Aisha, when it's someone's birthday, you can't keep it all to yourself. Especially not with the Slayer of the Sun. There's enough meat on that buffet for all of us. Wait, am I really known as the Sun? Come now, there's a lot more for us to discuss for your birthday. And ladies, as far as you are aware, this man's debt is mine. I would like to retract my statement since it is, in fact, not my birthday. Arara, and this isn't the best DHC in the goddamn city? I think someone just doesn't want to get with the program. I am innocent of these accusations! Hermes! Hermes! tell you I am innocent. I don't have drugs. I don't have debt. I spend my money on necessities like a good civilian. I'm like someone who thinks a hundred million is worth spending on a vibrator. Ladies, what have I told you about bringing the youth in here? That play is for the elves. No, Ishtar. This is a man. He doesn't look like a man. I am a man! No, Ishtar. We mean like a man. Oh, shit. Have fun, girls. Don't forget the motto. Not, not a, cock a cock shall be shall rocked be if rocked thy book if is not looked. book is not looked. That's right. This is the goddamn IRS. Little man. What is your name? Ah, shit. Steven? All right. Shit, Steven. A few things to know. Whether you're in the red light district or in the IRS, you are going to get fucked. And if you break it, you buy it. I don't think I'll be doing the breaking around here. At least someone knows his place. I like you, boy. Keep it up and you may just have a place here. <laughs> Toodaloo, motherfuckers! This isn't this heaven. Is heaven! This is hell! And I'm gonna fucking die here! Okay, kid. The jig is up. What are you here for, really? And before you ask, yes. Hermes set this meeting up. So you're not going to do something terrible to my body? Nope. Let's just say we're independent contractors. With an agenda. We might work for the IRS, but we are notorious hookers. And if you think we won't deal under the high table, we'll just fuck around and find out. I am in need of your books. All of them, because I'm going to burn it all to the ground. That's a felony. It also frees up any one of their debts that could change the tide of Ishtar's power. She's obviously, well, a god, and given the circumstances, imagine the amount of people that will be free from forced as labor. As far as good boy points and floral speeches go, that is a plan, and its execution, while rocky, is admirable. I don't think any of us could deny that level of bravado. I guess I will concede. Huh! It's that easy? It can't be that easy. I mean, we are notorious hookers. It's as easy as the business is. But like any partnership, even between escorts, there's a level of give and take. Hear yeah, what? You thought you'd come to an esteemed familia like this and leave without a good Friday night fucking? I took a calculated risk, but man, am I bad at math. I heard it was someone's birthday! Shit, we're too late. 
Green Jamil, the big bottom bitch Bucky. Which means? This meeting is on hold, because this hulking hips of debt collection is ruining client privacy privileges! I'm disappointed, ladies. You know the rules. Whoever sits on that couch is gonna get cast by this whole ass. Isn't that right, Mr. Chocolate Thunder from Down Under? Once I'm done, that Kit Kat ass is gonna be like a fucking wafer biscuit. Just a little bleached asshole. Oh god. <coughs> Why does every guy I say that do that? Oh no, I can't puke. There's no food in my stomach anymore. Let's try it. Oh, that tastes dank. Men these days. Don't know how to appreciate the women that make the world a little rounder. You're definitely some kind of woman, but not the kind you think yourself as. Aisha, you used to be such a badass bookie. What happened? You finally fuck a soul into yourself for something? If that's what it means to not put poor families on the street, I suppose I've got more of a soul than you. Don't be like that, honey. Come on and make your captain proud. One last time. Okay, so I think that now is the best time if you want to sneak out of here, but be quick or I'll have to chase you too. You just can't handle the real world, toots! And that bothers you. No, you're just out of your goddamn mind if you think I'm letting you put a finger in that boy's ass! I suppose we can ask if he wants it. Isn't that right, boy? I am a man, and I have been fucking mad! God damn it! God damn it! I knew this wasn't gonna be easy! Fuck you, Hermes! Why didn't you have an escape plan? Good evening, sir. I am your loyal consort for the evening. Would you prefer the front door or the back Whoa, door? Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm not here to do any of that. In fact, I am not even here. I've been witness to many lies and many truths, some not known until the dust settles. One thing I do know now is that you seem... tense. I could help with that. That's nice and all, but I have to get going. I'm not even here. Sir. I should let you know that my discretion is held at the utmost standard. You were never here. Good, you understand. I was never here. Of course. Now let us begin. What? No, that is not what I was saying! How do you like to start your evenings, kind sir? Something soft? If you would listen just for a second, I'm not here for any of this! Please, just relax. I'll make sure everything is comfortable for you. Ah! Ah! Uh. What the fuck just happened? Oh, wait, no, it's all over my leg. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it's not the worst thing to happen while during. I feel quite shameful about this. I didn't mean to break one of my Gogurt packs on you. I didn't even know I had it on me. The only thing you really need to work on is just to listen more. It could have saved a whole lot of trouble. Then let us not delay a proper introduction. I am Sanjino Haruhime, proprietor of many this and that's around the red light district and concierge of accountable finances of the upper guilds. You fucking people in your titles. Tell me more about yourself, Master. My first name is Val, my last name is Cornell, I'm a level three adventurer and I am not a murderer. Unorthodox display of hubris, but very well, Mr. Cornell. What brings you to the red light district? I've come to burn some books. Out of context, that sounds like something one could do really anywhere. Or perhaps you mean it as a felony. I guess everyone's a legal consultant today. I wish for elaboration. My previous client may not have shown up, but I have still been paid. You have this next hour to spend however you want with me. So I sat there for an hour. 
pouring my heart out about the issues that at many times seemed a little too outlandish, but she listened. And I would think about a fated moment where one night can change anyone's life forever. And that's how I found you! It sounds like you're working yourself far too hard, Mr. Cornell. If I may, the only way to truly get down to the core of your issues is to take more moments for yourself instead of reacting to every moment with vim and vigor. Damn, okay, I'll admit it. You're a decent therapist. All of this and that includes many things. I'm merely glad I could shoulder your burdens. How about I carry a bit of yours in exchange? How did you get into working, well, here? It was not a willing transaction. I was sold and then used as just another tool to Ishtar's empire. That is way messed up! So this is nothing more than just paying a debt over something you didn't have any control over? A recognizable circumstance. To be absolutely honest, constantly working slave labor for a massive bitch sucks all kinds of ass. And not even the fun kind. Well, all this being considered, what if your freedom is bought? Then I would be happy, but unsatisfied. Just because I hate it here does not mean I lack the will to find purpose. However, I would also love to finally be paid for my skills. I think I might have an idea, but also need to see how we can work it out. You sure seem to have a lot of ideas, Mr. Crinnell. What, pray tell, might this one be? So, let me get this straight. You want to hire... a hooker. 